Metro Manila is the national capital region of the Philippines. It is composed of 17 cities, including Manila, Montilupa, Quezon City, Nabotas, Caloocan, Paranaque, Las Piñas, Pasay, Pakati, Pasig, Malabon, San Juan, Mandaluyo, Taguig, Marikina, Pateros, and Valenzuela. The country's tagline is more fun in the Philippines. But why some people tell you to skip out on Metro Manila when you're visiting the country? Let me give you some reasons why you need to explore Metro Manila. Welcome to Manila! First on my list, Rizal Park, also known as Loneta, is a historic urban park located in Ermita, Manila, Philippines, which is considered as one of the largest urban parks in Asia, covering an area of 58 hectares. The sites on where the park situated was originally known as Bagumbaya during the Spanish colonial period. The park plays a significant role in shaping the history of the Philippines. The execution of the Filipino patriot Jose Rizal on December 30, 1896. Our next stop, Port Santiago. Port Santiago built in 1593, a citadel built by Spanish navigator and governor Miguel Lopez de Legazpi for the new established city of Manila, Philippines. The fort is one of the most important historical sites in Manila. Several lives were lost in its prison during the Spanish Empire of World War II. Jose Rizal is one of the Philippine national heroes who was imprisoned here before his execution in 1896. Today, Port Santiago is now part of historical park which is include the Plaza Mariones. The park house well preserved legacies of the Spanish colonial period including the Memorial Villa of Jose Rizal. Adaptive use of the famous historical landmarks makes the certain areas ideal for open-air theaters, picnics and promenade. The Intramuros Visitor Centers give an overview of the various attractions in the world city. Let's go to Intramuros! The best way to explore the whole Intramuros is to ride a calesa. Intramuros is a historic world area within the modern city of Manila, the capital of the Philippines. It is administered by the Intramuros administration with the help of the local government of Manila. Intramuros is also called the World City. At the time of the Spanish Empire was synonymous with the city of Manila. It was also the center of religion, education, and economy. The standard way of life in Intramuros became the standard way of life throughout the Philippines. Palacio de Gobernador The Palacio Gobernador is a government building located in Intramuros, Manila, Philippines. Located across the Plaza Roma and built its current form in 1976. It also previously housed a Bureau of Treasury until it relocated across the Plaza de Roma at the Ayuntamiento de Manila. Let's move forward to Manila Cathedral. The Manor Basilica and Metropolitan Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception, also known as Manila Cathedral, is the Cathedral of Manila and Basilica located at Intramuros, the historic world city within today's modern city of Manila, Philippines. Let's visit the Quiapo Church. The Manor Basilica of Black Nazareth, also known as the Quiapo Church, is a prominent basilica in the district of Quiapo, in the city of Manila, Philippines. The basilica is famous of home of the Black Nazareth, a dark statue of Jesus Christ, said to be miraculous. The basilica is under the Archdiocese of Manila. Let's explore National Museum. The National Museum of the Philippines is the umbrella government organization that oversees the number of the National Museum in the Philippines, including ethnographic, anthropological, archaeological, and visual arts collection. Since 1998, the National Museum has been the regulatory and enforcement agency of the government of the Philippines in restoring and safeguarding of the important cultural properties, site, reservation throughout the Philippines. The National Museum is also operates the National Museum of Fine Arts, National Museum of Anthropology, National Museum of Natural History, and the National Planetarium, all located in the National Museum Complex in Manila. The institution also operates the Branches Museum throughout the country. Let's feel the magic of Art in the Island. Art in the Island is located at Cubao, Quezon City, Metro Manila, Philippines. This is the first 
World 3D Art Museum in Asia. It was founded by Yoon Jong Kyung together with the 18 Korean master painters who were especially flown to the Philippines for this special project. They all worked together and created the painting in the museum. The museum had over 200 masterpieces, including production of works of masters, aquatic, animal, masterpiece, center hall, religious, fantasy, and the Christmas hall. This art gave illusion to depth with the view from the certain angle, and it is designed to serve as a background for all the photo opportunities. The purpose of opening a 3D art museum in Manila was to acknowledge the people, especially the Filipinos, to love the arts, to create a extraordinary photos, and share them not only to their families, but also to their social medias. Come on, let's taste the fun of Dessert Museum! The Dessert Museum is located at S. Madison below Conrad Manila Hotel, Hilton Worldwide Luxury Property at Pasay City, Metro Manila. Upon entering the place, you will be given a digital wristband that you will be using inside. Once you have it, you will be waiting for the tour to begin. The Dessert Museum have 8 mouth-watering rooms of sugar-filled happiness. As you slide, jump, play, and swing through the Dessert Museum, you will also be treated in any kind of samples of desserts. The tour is done by the batches to avoid the overcrowding. And each room has featuring a particular dessert, including the donut room, marshmallow room, candy cane room, ice cream room, bubble gum room, gummy bears room, cotton candy room, and the cake room. Each room has its own guide who will be sharing information about the future item. You will be given enough time to enjoy the room before you move to the next one. However, it's a museum quality that take back seat as soon as you enter the first room. It becomes apparent that it's more like playground slash photo studio built with fun-loving IG dueling. Kids, kids at heart, and millennials who have big appetite for taking quickly picture. Every room is yummily decorated to double as a photo spot with its every nook and canary Instagram worthy. Amazing fun fact about each dessert will make this not only the sweet experience but also bringing with interesting information to complete your tour. It's more than like a giant photo studio than a dining place. At the end of the day, despite its name, it's Desert Museum, it's more than anything else than a wonderful memories that you will keep forever. Let's take a quick snap at McKinley Hills. Experience a taste of European living in the Tropic Mega World, the largest township development at Metro Manila, the McKinley Hills. This place is perfect for living, work, play, learn, and shop. Community with a land bank of 50 hectares in Fort Benipasio, inspired by the cities in Italy and Spain, McKinley brings the Philippines in the sophisticated culture of Southern Europe. Let's walk a little bit at Venice Grand Canal Mall. The Venice Grand Canal is a lifestyle place development under the Mega World Lifestyle Mall, located inside of the 50 hectares McKinley Hills Township at Mega World Corporation and Fort Bonifacio, Tagic City. Inspired by one of Italy's most romantic cities, Venice Grand Canal has elevated the shopping and lifestyle scenes in the Philippines with its uniquely Italian sights and sounds and dining experience around the mall. Awarded the Best Retail Architectural Design at the Philippines Property Awards at 2017, Venice Grand Canal is known as of its design and architectural and is popularly considered as the most romantic mall in the country. If you love shopping, join me at Tutuban Night Market. Tutuban Market is located at Tondo, Manila, Metro Manila, Philippines. The Tutuban Night Market is one of the most visited night market in Manila, as it's now clean, organized, and has got everything from houseware, toys, jewelry, clothes, and food stall. The vendors start to set up at the main road network as soon as the regular mall nearby starts to close. For our last stop, Tutuban Night Food Court. As Metro Manila's number one food and lifestyle night market, 
Shoppers have always been delighted to splurge on an array of dishes, served every Tuesday to Saturday from 6 p.m. to 3 a.m. The mostly served Asian staple in Nihau and dessert and drinks. Some of the food stalls that you encountered and Aces cuisines that pastry snacks, cuisineries, Mr. Adobo, Benguet rice, patong, and more. There are more some beautiful places that is not included in this video. But Metro Manila has a lot to offer. The capital of the Philippines doesn't always make the news for the right reason. But if you're looking for a vivacious and underappreciated city, Metro Manila is ready to challenge your assumption.